win this great war. For five long years, we have asked our men to endure the tribulations of war. General Eisenhower. Winston. General Montgomery. Mr. Churchill. What a gathering. If Hitler were to drop a bomb on this little patch, he would destroy the entire high command of our allied forces. We are here to make the greatest decision of our lives. The invasion of France taking the German army head off. I've seen this before. A quarter of a million men were cut down at Gallipoli. We must spread the risk. The plans for D-Day have been in place for over a month. I don't want to make the same mistake. The forces are not carrying out your plans. We're taking care of it. You need to let us do the job. I beg your pardon. I am the Prime Minister of this country, and I shall not be stopped from speaking my mind. You can't just change everything over the heads of our allies. Don't assume you're the only one capable of making decisions. I need your help. Try acting like a hero, Winston, and then maybe people will believe that you are one. Men will die. Oh dear. My fiancé is on one of those ships. I'm sorry, I have no right. You have every right. It's not the man he was. He could be a liability as a leader. Would you have us do nothing when the Nazis massing 20 miles off our shores? No! I would have us do more! This magnificent effort of air, land, and sea, we must launch now. He has to address the nation tomorrow. I did tell them we're winning the war, or we've just killed thousands of people. Whatever happens, I must give him hope. When it's all over, what will I be? You will always be the man who let us through this. Our troops will fight on, and we shall never surrender. So, c'est moi. Okay. That will get copyrighted, I suspect. I'm giving Brian Cox free publicity. He's a massive mobster, and I'm going to show you how he is a massive mobster. 90 companies with Anne Gluag, yeah, Scotland's richest woman. <laughs> yeah, and it's all coming out today. And that is how my computer was taken care of by Rebecca Brooks. That's Churchill trailer 2017 Brian Cox movie we've been waiting for that to appear on there for uh, way over 20 minutes yeah keeps buffering yeah everything that they're embarrassed by keeps buffering <laughs> yeah and he's an ancient buffoon but as you now know he is uh, the parent of Bill Clinton and yeah everything they can do to obfuscate my videos in the middle of making them yeah, they've now blocked the tabs at the top of my airspace. Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of Churchill and now go. Yeah, this is George Lee's again. Yeah. And we've now, in this tower block, we've had uh, accidentally uh, a flaming tower block in London somewhere that has killed many, many people in an accident. I don't know uh, how that could be made into false news. Uh, but we have a team running the world this way, as explained in the Grimm Brothers movies. Okay, let's get on with Brian Cox and his massive frauds. First, I'll show you. So let's get rid of that tab. I think we've tried to already. Wait. Churchill, get rid of the tab. And then next up, it's me. Yeah, just to show you that it's me. I'm being exiled from even this home, yeah, which is one of my loved one's properties. Okay, there is Brian Cox. Strong likeness. Brian Cox left was channeling former PM Winston Churchill. That is the British American tobacco with the tube in which his semen, the real Winston Churchill, was used to sire Bill Clinton and his half brother Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Margaret who is the launch of Snowden in all of the covers by this acting team he played Braveheart and that's why in that image there should be some Braveheart Duke of Argyle images Brian Cox images Winston Churchill Braveheart can you see how powerful all of this is there's a picture of him 
with Donald Trump, yeah, the war criminal, he's got all those directorates, there are pictures of him wearing the medals and the icons, and there are the two of the sad bastards together. He came to meet me in the Sainsbury's car park in a massive Range Rover, yeah, around the time that I was exposing that he was likely to be in the Duke of Argyle's lineage, yeah, God only knows whether or not he is in the Winston Churchill lineage. He plays all those godly roles, he plays the roles in the tr battles for Troy of someone who gets... <laughs> yeah, let's not go there again. Okay, now I'm going to show you exactly what he does. And in case this video does get shut down, I want you to see that he's on the directorates at Stagecoach. Massive power broker. All 80 of them, 90 of them, have now been closed. Okay, you'll see that in a minute. If they don't do the same thing as they just did. There we've got all of the listings of his companies. 90 of them. I discovered them when I was looking into Edinburgh City Council and the Las Vegas military tattoo scams run by my local, uh, my wife's neighbour, uh, Alistair Hutton, who trained me to prepare for political office. <laughs> yeah, that's the Huttons of the check crashing, yeah, check kiting, uh, and they are, that's massive because that is the husband of Deirdre Hutton, the Queen of the Quangos, and the head of the Borders Health Board that tried to have me sectioned. Okay, so East London bus and coaches, let's, I'll put the camera down and see if I can drag that slider along so that we can see the full titles of his corporates. Maybe it's not a slider. Let's go to the top and see what it says about his business register in Kirknewton. Yeah, my place of exile uh, in previous regimes. Yeah, and that is Kirknewton that is mentioned by my Facebook colleagues. This one is not in the Lothians. This one is in Northumberland, where we now are. We're in Percy territory again, the crime scene. Mr. Brian John Cox, yeah, aged 47, is a director in 90 companies. Brian has resigned from 90 of these appointments since I went to live in the other Kirk Newton, yeah, and discovered this on the Endol website, which is a massive capacity to disclose all of the corrupted directorates all on the same page. Yeah, you don't have to ma open new pages and launch your archive into the other computers yeah, which I've got them all here and he's stitched up right the way into that resignation corner okay, let me show you some of the companies that he has now bombed out of for reputational reasons and that's why when we predict the future of what the imperatives are this week that I'm being told to leave yeah, and this is Stagecoast North Northwest Western Buses South Down Motor Services, East Kent Road Car Companies, Ribble Motor Services, United Counties Omnibus, Cumberland Motor Services, Parfitts Motor Services, P. Pythian, that's the same jokes as the American Presidentials and the Monty Pythons. They are the same team. They are the world owners. P. Pythian and Son. Pythian and Son the Pi Pi Piso ancestors and Brian Cox has had the Roman Emperor of one of the Emperors taken out of the National Gallery in Scotland uh, a whole collection of them because he is one of the busts that used to be on display as a uh, descendant of the Roman Emperor bloodlines you'll see his pictures on the earlier videos I've made yeah, he was the rector at Dundee University where two of my kids are now in the debt pool and he pretends that he's a Scottish loyalist. What he is, is a student of the globalist attempt to steal the whole world from its people. That is why in the Braveheart movie, when he plays the Duke of Argyle, he proclaims that Braveheart must not fight with his sword, he must fight with his noddle, yeah, with what's between his ears and become a massive 
interlocked person with France and Italy and the capacity to speak Latin and Greek, yet which is portrayed in the Braveheart movie en français s'il vous préfère when he's negotiating with the woman that had the enough spirit to have her husband, the poof, murdered uh, and then she launches the Nestle affair which I've also explained to you and dozens and dozens of people in Percy territory yeah, that is the launch of the knights that become Donny in, in the 14, 39 steps and it becomes Jean-Paul Gaultier, the poof look up the Nestle affairs East Kent coaches Midland Red South Limited Devon General Limited Stagecoach South Limited Hastings and District Transport Cheltenham and Gloucestershire both the race courses that we've told you about the syndicate runs the whole of the horsey world using the masters of the horse initially as the marshals yeah, under the sheriffs in the law system in America and that is the killing of everything that is innocent including the native engines Miller's Coaches Limited, Cambus Limited, West Sussex Buses Limited, Milton Keynes City Bus Limited, Hindburn Transport Limited, Southern Vectus Limited, Stagecoach West Limited. These are now qualify because I'm the Piso code number age 60 yeah, for a bus pass. They will change the rules to make sure that I'm not able to get a bus pass. Yeah, It is total corruption and that's why everybody yeah, including my current hosts now want me out yeah some of my current hosts have said that my research is awesome I've offered to fund them with the plights that they have complained about uh, but they still now want me out because yesterday I made a video on the Rothschild family and that is a really really stupid thing for me to do because that is the owners of the whole world the financial advisors to the Queen and everything that is a war through all of world history all for profit yeah I maybe regret it now that, that video has not been uploaded I will be possibly be homeless before that video goes online which is exactly what they want to happen East Kent Nominees Limited, Bayline Limited, Transit Holdings International Sharpton Limited, Formia Limited yeah let me read them off uh, as you look at the pictures <laughs> oh no I don't think we can do that unless we okay let's read them off uh, and how do I shrink that down uh, there we go okay there's Brian playing Winston Churchill oh no it's going to be too convoluted do you get the cigar tube and the semen samples and the Monica Lewinsky uh, the Monica Lewinsky Bill Clinton incidents now that is the semen on our little blue dress yet yeah, all of the covers for the Hitler his role Winston Churchill's role in Operation Winnie the Pooh and Operation Christopher Robin in the warmongering theft project that kills 45 million people under his regime after he's already killed those people at Gallipoli for which he was thrown out of the war office for that is why they built a Gallipoli podium in the Kelso war cemetery yeah within two years of my disclosures of that happening yet yeah, that is the massive Mr Bean Gallipoli joke Mr Bean was the war correspondent for that place yeah this is why the Queen tried to have me sectioned when I revealed to the whole country that this man, the real man, yeah, he's Tigger in the team for the rest of the rabbits who are Hitler's friends and their colleagues throughout that profiteering war. Yeah, so do you get Monica Lewinsky being pleasured by the cigar tube that sired Bill Clinton? Yeah, and sired Her Royal Highness Princess Margaret and Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth who was the recipient of my letter within seven days of me being sectioned <laughs> isn't it lovely and the sun's not even sure whether it's going to come out yet because the police could come storming in from that building across there any time that is the Pisopolis in those bloodlines that he's from from that ancient 
Roman, all roads lead back there, joke, okay? So, uh, I don't think we should do it on that small size. I'll just stop now reeling off those companies until we get further into the story, okay? So this is my website, and there is the Massive Economics and Business Sector Cons Crimes Against the People, Professors, Knights, Secret Societies and Scotland's Richest Woman and Her Brother, The Billion Pound Scams Revealed. There it is, there's the title. Professors, Knights, Secret Societies and Scotland's Richest Woman and Her Brother. Yeah, that is the uh, Souter family and that's Brian Souter. Yeah, the B Arian. Everything is rolled up into the same fucking jokes. And her son, Anne Gloag's son, committed suicide in the woods in Tayside, where she has used the most corrupted people in the world. That's Professor, uh, the bosses at the biggest law firm uh, that were got their professoriates at Glasgow from Kenneth Calman the man who we talked about yesterday in the Rothschild family lineages uh, but the name of that company was Levy and McRae and that is Professor Peter Watson interlocks with my divorce solicitor who's on the boards for uh, for the Scottish government and all of those airports that they bought for a quid yeah from the people that are Scotland's richest women and Gloag sold the wet the Glasgow airport that is Prestwick to uh, this lot and you get the Prestwick joke it's the P and E yeah and it's the <laughs> yeah on and on and on it goes there's a video showing how Sir Ewan Brown was knighted for crashing the banks in 2008 within weeks of me and Gordon Bowden disclosing that with the directorates all listed down below linked to John Wood of BP and INEOS yeah, that is the massive scan that everything in Scotland that used to be public is now privatised everything in the whole world has been sold again and again and again by him Alex Salomon Rothschild yeah, all of them out of the cigar tubes too and Gloag given permission yeah, to keep roving, roaming people, even Scottish people who live in that village, out of her kin fawns, castle estate. She's in the world owning bloodlines as the Soters, and that is the lighthouse joke that I showed you uh, just a couple of days ago. Noble Grossart Holdings Limited. Yeah, this is the boardroom that crashed the banks. This is the boardrooms that they are all on. There is Lothian 50. Ponzi scheme number 916 PLC, note the number, that is the Lothian 50 Ponzi schemes that are run by the Rothschild Trust in Lothian Road where I used to go to the cinema to watch videos that were all of my heroes from the Star Wars team acting out the roles of their ancient ancestors. There's another one, Harrison Love Group and Co Limited. Noble Grossart, that's the Grossart yet yeah, Scottish Enterprise video that I made and has never been released into the public like the video that I made which has had the soundtrack removed on the universities at Oxford, Cambridge, Gottingen and Heidelberg being immune from bombing in World War II totally removed, the entire soundtrack the Grossart movie has been totally blocked it's never been allowed like Bill Clinton's uh, syndicate in the global war warming that is the Bill Clinton Foundation yeah the half brother and the son of Winston Churchill by artificial insemination CEC recovery creative Scotland 2009 one year after the banks were crashed by this mob stagecoach group PLC Lothian 50 note the number 916 Caber oil Mori Petroleum, yeah, as if we have all of that in Scotland. That is the algae cloth, yeah, false news and false product uh, stuff that is also run in league with Guy Innes Care in my county and with the boss here, who's Percy, who's Perseus the poet in the Roman court. Dunedin Income Growth Investment Trust, PLC, that is likely to be 
the Murrays of Rangers who asset stripped the whole of the football club, there's Noble, Gro Noble Grossart Leasing Limited, Britannic Smaller Companies Trust PLC, Love Grove and Associates Limited, and on and on and on it goes, like the directorates that we were looking at for Mr. Brian Cox. Let's make sure that we've got his address in and his director number. Because uh, he is registered in Kirknewton. Okay, uh, does it say that? Or oh, maybe because he's resigned, there's no obligation. There is the number for that, there's the website. Uh, ID 00143683 It's ever so difficult to find it again from cold unless you've got the actual hyperlink which is at the bottom of that page and I have now posted it on Facebook so that the whole world including the police both sides of the corrupted border and all around the world can see that the game is nearly up unless they have the courage to murder and assassinate me to drive this news back into the underworld okay so country of residence UK nationality British but because he's resigned from all 90 of the 90 he's not obligated to declare now that his uh, registered office is in Kirknewton in the uh, county that it's up near Morpeth where the Mitford sisters live and that may not be related to the Mitfords of the place that I'm now living in yeah but they are the owners of this massive tower block <laughs> yeah that's the Mitford sisters that were the lovers of Hitler yeah in World War Two. okay so uh, we cannot see that he was from Kirkney and unless we go back on my OneNote profiles and that would take far too long there might be some, a mention of it at the bottom see how long it takes to scan through all of them now dropped Stagecoach International Stagecoach Aesop Trustees yeah that's got the word Piso in it and that's Aesop's Fables yeah everything is a piss take about the families that were in control when Mark Antony and Cleopatra went through the uh, pyramids yeah and all of it is an icon for everything that they represent they are sad uh, and weakly bastards yet yeah, all of them are d decrepit physically this one's orca fat yeah and he can only just fit into that massive range rover yeah and i think he was si smoking the cigar when i saw him in the uh, in the sainsbury's car park okay transport edinburgh limited that is how i got him yeah because there is uh, the transport edinburgh link to andrew Kerr, and that is the link to my pe colleague who I used to play rugby with but the Edinburgh City Council Mayor of Provost as we call it in Scotland is as he was the Provost at Dundee University for all of the scams the Mayor or the Provost in Edinburgh is Andrew Kerr yeah and he was the PE teacher that's the piezo joke again for my previous host <laughs> Stagecoach Pension Trust poor Brian Cox he's not going to get a piece of that action now don't know where he's going to get his criminal money from appointments stage and there's the postal addresses of every one of the companies <laughs> okay Stagecoach Northwest Cheshire Stockport 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 Cheshire yeah the Duke of Westminster's pad the places where my sisters went, the places where Bernie Eccleston runs his massive diversions, uh, and that is the Eccleston Square place, that is the registration place of all of the Trident scandals that were reported by me to the Scottish law enforcers in inverted commas. Okay? Premier Oil UK, John Wood Group PLC, the man that is asset stripping Aberdeen, the man that owns the whole of Aberdeen, the man that refused the uh, pay round people at Grangemouth any pay rise, and that is the Ineos company that is the inscription on Jesus' cross. That's why John Wood uses the name Ineos. That is the wood. 
and the nails for the Cavalier Rusticana. TSB Bank, Bank of Scotland PLC, HBOS PLC, Lloyds Bank PLC, Lloyds Banking Group, Cove Park. This is Ewan Brown, who is now the head of Financial Enterprise Scotland for another couple of years beyond his knighthood to Sir Ewan Brown, Brown when Gordon Bowden and I published this web page. Yeah, that is the head. Yeah, he then became the Chancellor at St Andrews University after Alistair Moffat, my hometown man and the thief from the borders who ran the BBC Scotland for a full decade in the lead up to that. Yeah, and has got interlocks with the people that were my family friends and sporting champions yeah, in the town of Kelso. And they lived right next door to Louis from Poland and that will be those aristocratic families that worked with my dad. It's incredible. They now live in Poinder Place yeah, in a massive mansion and those are the people that sent me away from their car uh, engineering company with a can of coke around the severed uh, exhaust pipe that I asked them to fix. Held in by a piece of wire and dropped out just as I was passing the military installations at Kilda, yeah, where the massive armies are run by Michael Ancrum, who's the chief of the official secrets committee and the secretary of state for Ireland when they crashed the Chinook. Yeah, and that is the Malakin Tire for the covers by the billionaires that are the musicians that are Paul McCartney, Lord McCartney of Liverpool in these type of frauds. Lloyd's Banking Group PLC, Lloyd's Bank PLC. That is when I published the picture of Otterio, whatever his name is, from Lloyd's Bank PLC uh, and showed the picture of him. Uh, and there is the actual uh, directorate from Company Check that I archived simply on that occasion. Yeah, with all the director numbers, with all the dates of their buying into the biggest fraud that has occurred in world history, the crashing of the global banks, the reset as they call it in America. And every one of those families that are involved in that presidential election and in the reset are the elite families that we talk about that link to Percy through Barbara Pierce and the parents of George W. Bush. Okay, it cannot get more corrupted. Yeah, and I cannot get anywhere to live. Lloyd's Bank Pension Trust number two limited. Lloyd's Bank Pension Trust number one. <laughs> okay, and this is the links to Earl Grey of the statue out there in Northumberland. When Gordon Bowden looked at his companies, the list of banks did not catch his eye, but the humble looking company Lothian 50, blue in the top image, caught his attention along with several oil and gas companies, most of which are total frauds. So I clicked on Lothian 50 and I got 135 hits for offices in Edinburgh at Prince's Exchange, 1 Earl Grey Street, Edinburgh. That is Earl Grey on the top of the statue. And that is called the monument here, and he is the man that owned, as the Governor General, the whole of India, and likely Pakistan, which explains the ownership of those massive hotels all over town and all over the world. And Nikki Hilton uh, is part of that Rothschild interlocks. She married, from the Hilton magnet chain, she married uh, one of the Rothschild females, uh, males. Yeah, that's why she's on the list, because she's a, a dim blonde, presumably, from the Aryan Master Race. Okay, and there's Cove Park and the links to the Duchess of Roxburgh's uh, massive estates at Cove House, where my Aunt Mary used to work, and she's a tailor, yeah, and she's been multiple times to Canada, yeah, uh, and I, I will, won't go on to those small places registered address, another one for Ewan Brown who crashed all those banks, that's his directorates now, yeah, with Anne Gloag and uh, Souter on them yeah, they crashed all of those banks and there is the money launderers that work for them 
all over the tax savings. Lothian 50, 990 limited, uh, and it's too low a resolution to see that, but you'll see it on your computer if you have a go. Yeah, there's all the money laundering secretaries. Lothian 50, 721, yeah, that's the Rothschild Trust registered in Parland, Auckland, and all of that goes into the Rothschild's family wealth. Yeah, which is why I made the video yesterday. And they've had to completely restructure their website and their archive since I made those videos and everything getting privatized by Rothschild. Yeah, in those links to the massive jokes about Solomon's temple and the diasporas out of Israel for the promised land. Christak, yet yeah, these are the money launderers for Ewan Brown, for Brian Cox, for Anne Gluag and Brian Suter, her brother. Uh, and there's the Bernie jokes about Rabsi Nisbet's son. Yeah, I believe he's died too. Yeah, it's really dangerous to laugh at stealing from the world. Lothian 5713, that's where you find that they are listed all together with Suta, yeah, with all the massive mobsters that are in that financial trust in Scotland. And it's now run by Donald's America, Rothschild's Trust, Switzerland AG. Yeah, same syndicate, same massive Ponzi schemes. If you take the money out of the country into the havens, in bundles of less than one million pounds at a time, even Margaret Hodge, the corrupted inventor family that launched the bomb on Japan, out of these elite families that include uh, <laughs> President Truman and the uh, people from the Bings, yeah, in the Fourth Bridge region, Tam Daliel, his body double, came to see me in the Vermont Hotel, owned by Pakistan, last week pretending to be a classical musician yeah, is pretending in the public eye to be dead. Cairn Energy Holdings Limited, Lothian Road, it's a massive empire of theft right where I used to go that's Cairn Energy David Cameron's company where the boss there is I think it's Bradley Freed uh, no it's not it's another man but Bradley Freed is the Investec boss and all of them are virtual products companies. Cairn Energy has no energy. It's just Ponzi schemes and coupons and they crashed them and they then rendered Indian investors bankrupt and that's when President Singh with the Tory blue turban had to resign because he was a slave to David Cameron who ran Cairn Energy for profit and that's why it's on the core of the Bank of England <laughs> yeah and all of this I've reported years ago even before my wife was determined to uh, divorce me Greenpeace, Cairn Energy, media briefing bullshit yeah the wildcat drilling at the ends of the earth that is the pen on the paper like the piezo joke yeah in December 2009, the publicly owned bank RBS made a £100 million loan to Cairn that only sells coupons. And that is Fred Goodwin, who coerced my brother-in-law, John Cook, onto the boards with the local provost, the Stuarts, with the head of the local paper, the, uh, I forget his name, he, <laughs> uh, he's married to the Eason's, uh, and with the people that were the cinema owners, the Pinders, who are now on the south coast. Okay, it's massive. Other, although other oil majors, including Chevron, Exxon Mobil, the big four, actually have the world's oil. All of that is stitched up in Lord Kerr of Kinlochar, yeah, portfolio. Uh, he's the former boss at Imperial College London, where I worked after uh, Miss Manning and Buller had. Uh, uh, no, before Manning and Buller took over from me. So you get it. Ewan Brown became the boss at St Andrews where the Queen's babies are educated and trained to kill yet yeah, in the military helicopters that are the Chinooks and that is what Prince Edward declared that you would do uh, sorry, Prince Harry declared that you would do 
if the needs were there. Yeah, if someone like me comes along, they will take them down, violently or under psychiatric services, and all of it is just absolutely shameful. Okay, so where do we go now? Stagecoach group, there they are. <laughs> then Gordon and I looked at Sir Ewan Brown's list of co-directors from the companies and banks they steal from. See video at the top of the page and it is like a hall of fame for Anglo-Scottish elites. I don't want to confuse you so let's name some of the directors in Ewan Brown's, Sir Ewan Brown's within a fortnight of me publishing this article, Circle of Friends. So I thought it best to take on a new topic and I gave Gordon his choice. He chose Stagecoach Green and then Brian Souter as the director of most interest. Yeah, that's why Brian Cox yeah, has had the cover from the physicist Brian Cox. Yeah, and that's why the Cox in Westminster was part of that Islamic terror story. All of it is just bullshit. Yeah, I don't know how they get so many people in a place called London yeah to play along if that uh, it, all of it when you see Independence Day that my son was staggered by 22 years ago when we went to one of his elite money uh, his, uh, our elite relatives who are money uh, uh, money uh, launderers too yeah we went to their posh wedding uh, and it is just amazing they had the whole of their bath was filled with champagne bottles Okay, stagecoach group. Isn't it funny that the youngsters of today, the parents and the people that were employed by the Queen of the Quangos that are in my family, they all get free bus passes yet yeah, for decades and they're able to make free trips all over Scotland every day of the week if they wish. Every one of the students who's now being robbed blind has to pay massive fares to get to and from the places where they're being educated by these massive mafia operation people. Yet he was Brian Cox, the rector at Dundee University. Thank you to the people from Dundee, coincidentally offering me places in Dundee, yet because of my homeless thing, I was trying my best to get in touch with you. Uh, I will try again later on. Yet, but because they're on the other side of the world, it's ever so difficult. Yet, but they're activists too, and it gives me hope that, you know, all of this will be genuine, like it was when I went to Edinburgh and I thought that I was going to be part of political meetings every weekend. You've seen the videos I made in Edinburgh and how much surveillance there was on those places. Yeah, it's all the same team. One T. Right, no nothings, all of them, through world history, the the, da the damage is wreaked by the people that pretend that all of this is just a coincidence. Yeah, they pay attention to the paedophilia and that is how on this website the paedophilia was the introduction to the characters. Yeah, because that is what they make the fuss about about the people in the speculative society of Edinburgh. There is Anne Gloag's massive pad, Kinfon's castle estate, yeah, and that is uh, Perth and Kinross Council. Yeah, uh, and that will be very close to uh, Dundee. It's going to be really exciting and embarrassing for some of the folk that I meet there. Yeah, there is the evictions, and that is the people that were evicted by the Duchess of Sutherland, and all the people that were involved in the Sutherland thing were living in the Lothians. Yeah, and they are linked in my new research to the Edgertons of just outside Hemel Hempstead. <laughs> okay, there's Anne, not Peron Gluag, yeah, but Heron Gluag. <laughs> okay, and there is her mercy ship. There she is, taking the piss with her brother Brian. They got their money and their start-up funds from their dad's redundancy money in the state-run company that was crashed, presumably by Rothschild and the like. Yeah, mercyships.org. 
So the medics that I used to work with in Dundee and places like that, they go to Africa, they get total tax breaks, yeah, they don't have to <laughs> pay for the trip, because what she then does is to proclaim that they make miraculous uh, medical recoveries occur in Africa. What actually happens in Africa is that they ignore the poor people when they get fistulas, which is the birthing chamber becomes detached and it links into the abdomen, everything begins to smell and all of them get cast out the town, which allows them to go and treat all of the elite dictators in those countries. Okay, there is the three directorates with the OBE on one of them, yeah, and the obfuscation with all those different postal addresses. Yeah, EH3, yeah, all the different postal addresses on every one, that one's got no postcode available. It's the same woman. Yeah, really clever. That is the Soter Lighthouse down there, and that is the Pharaohs of Egypt. Yeah, and that is why James E. Souter in Rab C. Nisbet and Rab C. Nisbet are part of all of this because they are in the bloodlines too, and that is the Phoebe jokes. Yeah, and you look at the word for the word Phoebe in the Piso Windsor bloodline, you'll see why Phoebe, com Phoebe comes up from London to visit Rab C. and the Souters. Yeah, uh, every Christmas the joke about Jesus never living. Right, what is the, and here's the speculative society. Let's go there now. Let's just flick down in case we're missing another boardroom that's really important. No opiate analgesics all over sub Saharan Africa. That was the man from uh, Manchester University Hospital, uh, Brian took me to Amsterdam as my last international visit before my passport ran out uh, and he asked me to write an article on healthcare in Africa where they have no blood banks, where the HIV is rampant, they have no opiate analgesics and when I published it or attempted to publish it in the journal that was run by Brian Pollard, yeah, uh, that was refused and all of it shows you that everybody that gets medicine in birth, birthing chambers in Europe, the death rate in Britain is one mum in 180,000 caesarean operations. In Liberia, this was told us by Channel 4 News, and all of it is cited in the article, the death rate in childbirth in caesareans is one in 12. It's an absolute human tragedy, and that is the person that runs all of that. Annie Lennox is the uh, advisor on the development, redevelopment of Malawi. Yeah, all of the elite families that we're talking about here, not the Gluags that I know of, but the Madonnas and all of those elite families, they bring back orphan children because they're incapable of siring them. And then they become the world leaders in the next couple of generations, like Obama. Thousands of years after Obama was Suetonius, the Roman reporter and pressman from Wales to Rome. Yeah, that's Baruch Obama of Cardiff Bay. Okay, and that's the end of the article. Okay, all of it linked to Gulf Sands Petroleum, Inai Mog Mob, Gordon and Ewan Brown, and all of the massive scams that they run. Gordon Brown was bought out every time we released some news and there is the links between George W. Bush and Bill Gamble's dad at Barrick Gold, that's the Queen's company which I've profiled in recent months, Iran Contra crises, and all of it is to keep the people in fear that those Islamic threats from their friends that wrote the Islamic texts using the pen of the Piso family too, it is just a massive tragedy. So here's the speculative society and the links to Brian Cox that mean that he, for shame, in the last four months has resigned from about 40 of those companies. He was on 90 to begin with uh, and he's now dropped off. If it had been this directory, so there is Sir Ewan Brown. I don't know whether or not he's died. He may have done but he's been replaced by a Pettigrew, 
and that is the Pettigrews who died, friends of my sisters, but they have denied that the Pettigrew who took over from Sir Ewan Brown when he was forced into resignation, because all of this came out from me and Bowden, yeah? Uh, Ewan was appointed chairman of the Scottish Financial Enterprise on 1st August 2012, yeah? Just uh, months after my first sectioning attempt came through from Dr. Finland and Mrs. Valerie Jane Lees. Yeah, an executive director at Noble Grossart, that's the video that was completely blocked, and all of this is the uh, debt pool that is run for every council in our country. Everything is run for debt, and that is impossible. You cannot have a balance sheet where there are only debtors. Thank you to all of the students who are being robbed blind in this town for acknowledging that you cannot have a sovereign debt crisis where there are only debtors in every country and every council or every state in America across our globe. There's the Mathesons, the Barclays that I mentioned in the Rothschilds video because they are married to the uh, male, uh, the, the female Rothschilds. <laughs> Stephanie Bruce and the legendary traitors of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who lead the way for the border Freemasons, and that is all the jokes about the people that have sacked me umpteen times for trying to contest the way our world is run. Kenneth Barker, Michael Polson, and here we go again with another listing, and it's the same listings this time because this is on the Speculative Society. And if we go further down, we'll find Alistair Moffat, the boss at St Andrews University and who, who gave way to Professor Ewan Brown after I had exposed him and the people from Kelso who were the neighbours of Louis, my dad's mate, yeah, who now have the massive mansions in Poinder Place. Poinder was the Governor General in New Zealand. <laughs> Alistair Moffat, St Andrews University Rector and Professor Ewan Brown. Okay, there is the mob that have given me a lifelong gagging order. That is Sir David Steele that runs the Future of Syria Fund, and that is Kevin Drummond, the first sheriff on my divorce case. But he's old and frail, and they had to take him off and replace him with Peter Patterson, who runs the airport at Prestwick, for Nicola Sturgeon, who paid a pound for it. It was actually Salmond who paid the pound. And if we go down, we'll find Donald's Ponzi schemes. Yet this is the secret society, that is the speculative society, SS. The Arbuthnots were the professoria in New Zealand. They went away to plan the physics and the yet physiology of sending Japanese who are shot at space to the moon. Yet all of them are mobsters, that is why they are called the speculative society. And that is speculation on the stock markets. <laughs> Okay, so let's go straight to Donald's Ponzi schemes. <laughs> okay, Rupert Murdoch. This is Cameron, Lord Abernethy, the paedophile, yet yeah, who's accused of paedophilia because that is the period when Prince Philip, who was the patron of the school where the massacre occurred, Dunblane, yeah, do you get it? That is Lord Abernethy, law lord, uh, and I think there's a picture of him further down. There's all the false uh, virtual products companies. There's the murdered Norman Kirk in New Zealand. And there are the current regime that own the whole world. Rupert Murdoch, Rebecca Brooks and David Cameron at that time. He's been chased out by me. Yeah, but there are plenty of reserves. All of them absolutely greedy. Sir John Mainwaring Robertson, the boss at the HSBC. Yeah, and all those Canary Wharf banks that steal from the world and crash the banks with all of those old-fashioned banks yeah, and Ewan Brown in 2008. <laughs> right, Donald. Yeah, the innocent present in America. There we've got High Court judges quitting. There is the man that I've just told you about. Dunblane Inquiry was a cover-up and peers bullied me to keep quiet says Lord Burton. Oh no, sorry, that is not the one I've just referred to. There's the Moira Anderson. She keeps getting revitalised. 
because that is the R. Not Manderson company that could have allowed Scotland to be freed. And there is J.P.H. Mackay QC, who was Lord Mackay of Clashfern. And that is the Ronnie Barker and the Mackay jokes for porridge. That one died really young because they're laughing at stealing from the world. And there is Miss Lagarde, who's my Facebook friend. There is Lord Abernethy that we just discussed. And there is the massive thief at the RBS that coerced my brother-in-law John Cook on his boards yeah, with the people that were the editors of the local paper, now Eason, and my Facebook friends in Australia. BNP Paribas for her, BNY Mellon, that's the Mellon Bank related to Mellon who crashed the gold stocks and put them all in Fort Knox in the Lend-Lease scam in the lead up to World War II. FDR from Selkirk, yeah, FDR and the Murrays and all those links to all of these families that are now massively exposed, even although they're still trying to evict me and silence me. There's Gordon Brown looking stressed. Okay, uh, kidnapped Robert Louis Clovis Stevenson. <laughs> and there's Cameron's directorates in Edinburgh interlocking with the rugby player Andy Irvin, the people that are the, there he is, Trump Scotland, Rothschilds own the world and its sovereign debt, we cover the business interests of only one Rothschild, Lord Rothschild, and that is Jacob, Hannah's dad, the Windmill Hills directors include a Rayburn, that's my relatives, and there's Windmill Hill, yet yeah, all the jokes about the Moulin Rouge and the swastika for the German Masons when Donald's family were in the Palatine in Frankfurt. Yeah, he dodged the draft. There is Dunwilco 1292. These are Donald's companies in wind power with windmills offshore in Scotland. Yeah, registered in Greenock, in Gleskey. Dunwilco 1293, Dunwilco 1294. Do you get that? That's 1300 for the Freemasons. That is a major political initiative in stealing the ownership of America by a German thief from Frankfurt and the Palatine, whose middle name, his name is Drumpft. Yeah, his name is related to the Heinzes. His name is related to Goebbels. Yeah, and that is the, uh, the, they are also related to Hitler. Yeah, like the Rothschilds, and they are with Hillary Clinton Rodden Rose Rothschild in the same family bloodlines and that is linked to the Percys and all of the people from the west coast of Scotland yeah and there is where he made the fuss about his golf course being despoiled by Alex Salmon's wind power when what Alex Salmon did is to sell all of Scotland's power yeah to the English cabals the big six companies run by Branson run by Galan from and by uh, the King of Spain, Juan Carlos, on the boards with care of Kinlockard, Granton on Spain. Yeah, used to have Facebook friends from Granton on Spain. They are massive mobsters. They are linked into the Longshanks bloodline uh, and they have strong connections and wives in Switzerland. Dunwilco 1292, London Bridge Business Improvement District Company. Can you see why we need London Bridge terror every now and again? Yeah, it's Donald's syndicate. Hydrofact, Trump International Golf Club Scotland on the same risk lists of directors for his money laundering globally. Right, I think we'll stop there and I'll just upload the video because I've got a lot of things on my hands. Yeah, I may be homeless from tonight. If anybody's got the courage to host me, yeah, and what you want to become a celebrity before you're potentially executed, get in touch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, my Facebook site is there. This could be an invasion of privacy for some people. <laughs> let me see what's on it first. Well, let me take you to my own web page and I'll show you what I've published this morning. Yeah. I will now send what I published this morning on Brian Cox to the Lothian and Borders Police, to the Law Society in Scotland, to Guy in his care, 
there is the massive tower block like the one I'm living in that has been burnt to the ground coincidentally when I'm actually making videos like this almost everybody in the list, death list uh, have got Islamic names it's absolutely tragic and Grenfell is the woman that used to be in the St. Trinian's movies and she is a massive mobster and linked to one of the aristocratic families that own the world do you remember her? yeah she was she played the role of a policewoman in that massive thing and you've, you've got the other mafia member that was in those uh, detective movies I forget what his name is all of it is completely buffoonish uh, and so let's let's now go to my own web page and show you that this morning I have published for the whole of the world to see openly yeah the whole of the world to see openly that what you've just learned in that video has been published yeah since Brian Cox yeah Mr. Brian John this may not load in time Mr. Brian John Cox director profile on Endo it's no good you looking that up there are so many corporates now all of it gets covered so there it is there's my post Mr. Brian John Cox director profile at Endo yeah you've seen that he had 90 corporates I think it will say that on that page there is me with my three children all of whom have gone to university all of whom are now in debt to the Rothschild Bank that runs a student loan scam I need to get rid of my friends links okay and there is the biggest yet yeah, the biggest thumbnails they will not allow you to publish them that is Gunnersby the Rothschilds anoints yeah that is the hundred acre wood and the hundreds divisions all across Europe into the country that has become owned only by the master races from the Bowie tribe reason, region that was the bears before they became Rothschild yeah and that is all the bears in the woods jokes and there is the arsenal jokes that thumbnail has never been allowed on the video I made on the hundred acre land divisions all across Europe and into the doomsday book yeah and all of the owners of that land were on in the presidential election in America and they are the Perses of this region I'm gonna stop now yeah and that is us when my family were doing uh, trivial research on how to save lives in the pharmaceutical industry that's me yeah and that is the rest of my family those pair the wee ones will not talk to me now because they believe that their university bosses are superior to me and that they are in that debt pool yeah, because of genuine reasons with a rationale that is the Vash from Chipping Norton who has dedicated her whole life since she took me to the roll right stones on the first date that we had to dismembering the whole world in allegiance with her royal highness the queen for all those elite families and she used to ski in the Alps before I started to pay for her skiing trips to the Alps where Shania Twain has her hunting lodge just up the valley there that's the Twains that are related to the Chrétiens, the Clintons and the Trudeaus of Canada I think that's enough yeah that's two of my sons are not a lot any longer allowed to talk to me because my truths are too big for them yeah and I'm sending those emails to Hertfordshire looking for a place on somebody's couch in Hertfordshire with the families that all become money launderers yeah and they become capitalists that launch their own businesses and those businesses get crashed yeah and all of those families no longer talk to me because I'm the world's most innocent and exposed man and they are all in my portfolio of business numbers in everything that I have which is why my wife gave me my pension back because I started citing the businesses run by our relatives who are the salters and they get horrible cancer some of them marry into Germany and I've asked them if I could have a place on their couch this morning 
yeah they cannot cover up who the culprits are everything I'm talking about here domestically are trivial but it is the template for globalism and it is wreaking havoc all over the civilized world and the world could be really civilized yeah if Hannah Rothschild Nathan and Evelyn De, yeah if they were to come forward yeah and stop sidestepping all of this ancient history now and start uh, modifying their ways yeah and persuade Donald and the Queen to stop trying to execute people when we're not allowed to smack the babies okay bye bye